Does it also frustrate you when you get to a website and it's got exactly what you need, except that you have to pay for it? Well, if that also awakens the little rebel inside of you determined to figure out a way around this, you've come to the right place. So today I'm sharing with you 13 websites that are helping me every single day and making my life a lot easier. And I'm diving straight into the first one, which is called this person does not exist.com. So what this website does is it's taking parts and pieces of pictures and putting it together as one image. So it can be someone else's nose, someone else's eye, chin, hair, everything. And it puts together an image that is obviously not infringing on anyone's privacy if you download the picture. But it's also not, there's no copyright on it because this person physically does not exist. And you can change it to what you want. You can see this is a picture of a baby, but I can say it needs to be male or female. It's gender specific at this point in time. And then you refresh the image and it loads a new image. It's not always perfect. But you can keep going and here you can see it's a young person if you perhaps need an older person and you just go you refresh and you keep going until you find the picture that you like previously it used to be completely free but obviously more and more people are using it so they're being smart to monetize it you can download it for free it will have the watermark that you can see here this person does not exist you can just crop it if you really need to or if you want that for a project and you don't want that um, watermark there then you can just well, you can just, but then you have to pay for it. Then we've got another one. It's called alternative2.net. And this is where you go and you know that there is a software that everybody uses, but it's paid for and, or maybe you don't like it. You want to know what else can you use with a similar functionality to what you're already using. Perhaps you don't like the one that you're using and you want to try something else and you just want to know what are the reviews, uh, what is it costing, maybe you're looking for a free version. So for instance, if we should say Photoshop, you can see there are 235 alternatives. You can search and then you go down the list. Now, how you choose, that's up to you because it depends on the reviews, it depends on the features that you want, it depends on the pricing that you're looking for. But you can see people can respond here if they like it, which operating system it can work with. Is it open source, is it free? And if you click on it, it will take you to a full page about this program and then from there, you can read a little bit more or you can go straight to the website. The third website is one of my favorites. I like to read a lot of articles and the majority of these websites want you to start paying after you've read a certain amount of articles, either per month or per year or in total. It is frustrating if I'm looking for one specific article and I need to now pay or a subscription fee or a once or fee that I don't actually want to be paying. So these people who built this website felt the same way. It's called 12 foot Io. And when you get to a point where they force you to subscribe, like through a payment gateway, if you enter the URL in here, it overrides that payment gateway. Or, or in other words, it removes the paywall. This is an amazing feature. Let me show you. So I was going through the Harvard Business Review and just looking through certain articles to test because it doesn't work with every paywall. Please don't think you're just going to like get free stuff. Now it's only specific to subscription based articles or newsletters. So I chose the Harvard Business Review and I've got two free articles, gone through them. And now you can see if I start reading, it tells me, do you want to keep on reading? Well, now you have to subscribe. So I use this URL copied it and I put it in here and then you say remove paywall then it starts thinking and if I go down you can see I can read the entire article now this is incredible so if I use something regularly I personally subscribe because I want to pay them for the effort that they've gone through but if I really just need one and they want to charge me 14 15 dollars the exchange rate for South African can get quite hectic then I come here this leads me to the fourth website which is called SciHub and this was built by a programmer named Alexandra and she was very adamant in her studies and masters and PhD programs that access to literature should not be restricted um, for anyone out there. It is her mission to unlock research. Uh, so many of your journals, the same as what I mentioned with the previous website, they are locked or you have to subscribe and pay to read them online. She goes and she finds them with some fancy programming and she makes it free. So I'm going to use my own personal article that was published in the British Journal of Midwifery. And you can see here, 
it is not an open access journal so you can kind of read the article but many of them don't even have it like this it's just a title with a short abstract if you want to click on it you have to subscribe but now if I want to download this to read it it doesn't give me an option for a PDF you can see it's just sections and references because it actually wants me to subscribe to download the document so what you do in that case is you copy the title then you go to Google and you can see I've put in the title and I type in DOI at the end, Digital Object Identifier. The DOI is basically the reference number for every published academic article on the internet. So I paste the title and I say DOI. And then I go to any one of these where I could potentially find it. If you click on it, here you can find the DOI. So I copy it and I go back to Sci-Hub and I just want you to enter the DOI. Once you click on open, if it's not in the database, it will tell you it's not there. But here you can see that's the entire article, the way it is actually published in the journal. And if you then go and download it, it's possible to download it. If you're into research or you need to find any articles, this is an amazing website. Okay, on to number five. This is called Whiteboard without the H. And this is perfect for online meetings, Zoom, uh, Teams or Google Meet, wherever you are. Very often the way you would go to the whiteboard in a meeting room and explain what you want, it's difficult sometimes on the computer if you have to explain what you actually want to just draw and illustrate it. And this is where whiteboard comes in. You share your screen and then you start drawing whatever you have in mind as if you had a pen in your hand. It's also intuitive that it would recognize shapes and it kind of helps you to make the image a little bit prettier. So for instance, I have a circle you can see it automatically changes it into a better circle. And I want to explain something here, and I've got something else here, or something that you really just want to illustrate. You know, we are trying to figure out what is the why for our business, and how are we going to deliver our value proposition, who are we going to deliver it for. So it's a really nice way of just getting your team members to follow your thought process. If you are finding this helpful, please give the video a like, so I know to continue making videos like this in the future. And subscribe if you want to continue watching videos like this in the future. Okay, the next website is called printfriendly.com and it can convert anything into a PDF. It's basically helping you to read easier because you can see you can either drag and drop something in here or you just copy and paste a URL so you can literally turn a website into a more friendlier PDF version to read or to download. If I test maybe this one and I say preview so here you can see it's broken it up into a very easy digestible document better than what it was here and you have the option to delete so for instance this table looks a little bit funny if I want to delete it I can you can see you can just delete whatever you want to to get to a point to download something perhaps it's like a recipe that you want to download but you have to skip 500 pages of how amazing this cake is or what is the history of chocolate cake and you just want the recipe and you like to download it you can put it in here delete everything and just save the part that you actually want or print it out the next website is called 10minutemail.com and what it does is that it gives you an email address for 10 minutes only. So you subscribe to something or you know when you often have to input your email and you have to subscribe to the newsletter in order to receive some freebie. But now you know you're going to get spammed by them. You put in an email that is only valid for 10 minutes, which means you will be able to get your freebie downloaded or get the PDF. But if they continue to email you, it will go straight here and it doesn't exist after 10 minutes. So you won't get spammed. And you stay on this website to get your email so it will open up into new email and you will be able to download whatever you need to download close it move on with your life and then the next website which you can use in conjunction with the very first one I mentioned this person does not exist it's called fake name generator so it's not necessarily to create a fake identity for yourself but perhaps you're developing something software or something and you just need a couple of names with some details filled in and instead of having to go and sit and go through all the John Doe and Jane Doe and John Smith and all those names and what did they study, where they're from and how old they are you just go in here, it creates a persona for you and you just copy and paste everything that you need here you've got a person, Desiree um, Nazario uh, her mother's maiden name she's got a social security number, her phone number 
She's already got a birthday, how old she is, what is her zodiac sign. You can see if you go through here, like it's literally got all of the details that you might need to create a fake profile. Again, this is not for any illegal purposes. It's purely if you're in the process of building something and you need to complete a couple of fields. But you don't have to waste time thinking about all these things. You just come straight here and you get all the details that you need. Then we've got another one. It is an Amazon price tracker. It is called camelcamelcamel.com. Find a project that you need, for instance, a coffee mug. And here you can see Amazon price versus third party price. Okay, if you go to third party price, it takes you to more statistics that you can see a history of the item as well. And then here you can input your email address when the Amazon price drops to whatever, and then it can track and you'll get an email. If it's maybe like, you know, it's like something you add to your wish list, but you want to get an alert for when the price drops to the one that you are willing to pay. Perhaps this is not new to you, but if it is, it's one of my favorites to use on Canva as well. It's called pixels.com. The other alternative is unsplash.com, but you can get free stock photos from here. And now, recently, they've added free videos as well, which is also changing my life because now I don't need to think, oh, where am I gonna get time to shoot a video somewhere, but I can just find it here. So if I search, for instance, for happy people, it'll give me free pictures. Click on something and you can see free download. If it says free download, it means it's free to use. You can always check the licensing here at the bottom to say it is it really free to use. And what and more info about the picture and the dimensions and the pixels. What is nice these days is it's um, linked to Canva. So if you click on edit in Canva, it actually opens the picture in Canva if you're already signed in and you can carry on working with it there. If I now change it to videos, you can see the videos and if you hover over it, that is our beautiful table mountain in South Africa, by the way, then you can see which one um, you like and you can download it. If you click on it, it will show you the duration of the video. Then you can decide if it's long enough or do you need a longer one. And always in pixels, if you click on it to open the picture and you scroll down, it will show you similar pictures to the one that you've already selected. So now you can see there's similar pictures of people actually partying where in the beginning I had very different pictures. Then the next one is smartmockups.com. Now, if you're actually already working on Canva, this might surprise you because if you go, so I've selected this picture here and I say edit photo, perhaps I want to add a picture onto a t-shirt or a coffee mug. There is this option already embedded in Canva called mockups and you can see the logo is the same. You can see that logo is the same as this one. So they just integrated with smart mockups. But if you want more mockups, because there's a limited amount on Canva, you can come to Smart Mockups and you can actually sign up and upgrade to a paid plan where you get access to even more mockups. But if I just type in here, I've selected a t shirt You can see there are a huge amount of t-shirt mockups to choose from. You can see there's a little pro option if there's a the crown with the pro. So you can just ignore those, but there's everything from t-shirts to computers, to mugs, to portraits, to stationery, everything that you can find here if you don't find it perhaps in Canva. The bonus website is called polls.io. This is a website that enables you to very quickly and efficiently create a poll, share it with people and immediately see the results. You can see, uh, uh, for instance, which day suits you best, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever options you have, quickly share the link, you can vote easily and then you can share the results with the rest of the team. And I have saved the best one for last. It's called blush.design. Again, related to if you work on a lot of designs or content that you have to create for projects or on Canva. So this is helping you to create images that are not stock photos. It's free to download for the most part um, and you can customize it based on your needs. So what you do is start at illustrations and then you select whatever category you might be in. So say I'm going with healthcare um, and I select this person here. Now I want to have a presentation at work and I want to put someone there in some healthcare related outfit but I'm not entirely happy because you know maybe it's not supposed to be a female, maybe she shouldn't have a mask, maybe she should have something different on. Then you just uh, go to edit and on the left you will see everything that is editable. So there you can change her outfit, perhaps her hair is different, maybe she doesn't necessarily need a mask, maybe she's very angry today, you know, she didn't have a good morning, she's on her way to theatre in a different mask, she has no mask, so you can change her face, you can give her glasses, whatever you need to do, and once you're done, you can download it. 
As with anything, there's a free version and then if you want the better version of it, you have to pay. So you can download it as a small PNG, so without a background. If you only use it once off, this is perfectly fine. If you need to come back more and more to use more of these designs for a project because maybe you are the content creator for that project, then you might want to sign up to a premium version or the pro version where you can download better quality images. Let me know in the comments below which ones you find the most helpful for your line of work and if you have any additional sites that you want to share. Whoa! Jeez. Do this again. But before you go, you might want to check out these videos. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.